Hello and welcome to this tutorial. Let's talk about configuring zero subnet support. So what does that mean? Well, in ICND1, we introduced the concept of the zero subnet when we were talking about IP addressing and subnetting. The zero subnet is just the first subnet created from a classful network and it happens to share the same subnet number as that classful network. So for example, if we have a major network here, it's a class C, you can see it's obviously a slash 24, 192.168.1.0. If we were to subnet that, and here for example we just created a slash 27, but the subnet mask kind of doesn't matter. What does matter is, whatever the first subnet is going to be, it's going to share the same network number as the class C network. So it's pretty obvious here, these are the same. Well, originally, routers were not permitted to use the zero subnet because it caused some confusion. They could not distinguish these two networks apart because they had the same subnet number. Well, luckily that has changed and we can use all of the subnets now, including the zero subnet, with the introduction of the IP subnet zero command. So let's take a look at that. So in order to really illustrate how this command works and how routers used to struggle is to actually disable this functionality. So we're going to start by going into configuration mode and typing the no IP subnet zero command. And that's how you disable support for this the zero subnet on a Cisco router. Now why do I have to do that? Because by default this is enabled in Cisco IOS. Okay. So now that we don't have support for it, let's go into an interface and try to configure a zero subnet IP address on, on there. See what happens. So we'll use our same example. and watch what happens. It says bad mask slash 27 for address 192.168.0.1. So it's a bit of a vague message. Why is the mask bad? In fact, it's not. It's, it's perfectly good if we were able to support the zero subnet. So if you ever see this and you're scratching your head what is going on, you should think, ah, maybe this is a trick or maybe somebody made a mistake or this lab box was not reset to a default configuration. I need to go ahead and enable subnet zero. So all we would have to do in this case is enter the IP subnet zero command and we now have this functionality. If we go back into the interface, and try to issue the IP address command again, now it takes it without a problem. Okay, so let's summarize. If you need to enable subnet zero support on your router, issue the IP subnet zero command, and quite simply, if you want to remove that functionality, issue the no IP subnet zero command. There's really no reason not to use it, but if you're in a lab and you want to play around and get a feel for this, that's the command you need to use. And finally, remember the subnet zero is the first subnet created when you subnet a classful network and it shares the same subnet number as that classful network. Okay, so that's it. That is how we configure zero subnet support on Cisco routers. Thanks for watching.